if we ask ourselves, what is conservative mean? I mean, is it conservative to wear burqa? Or conservative is someone who follow certain rules which make it too much difficult for him to do something wrong, supposedly. Islam is far away from anything is called conservative. All what Islam does, it legalize adultery, legalize prostitution, legalize everything forbidden in Judaism and Christianity. And we will prove it to you one by one. As an example, what is adultery in Islam? In the Bible, Jesus said, if a man, he wish a woman, just by looking at her, by, by his eyes, just by looking, he committed adultery. That's it. Because you see, the, the problem is, there's many Christians, they think that we and Muslims, we share the same value or we share the same thing. Okay, Christianity forbid adultery, Islam forbid adultery. That's absolutely a big fat lie. Islam never forbid adultery. What Islam does, Islam use the word adultery, but allow it under different, let us say, cover. I will give you many examples. A man, his name, Hassan al-Tammar, or Nabhan al-Tammar, sorry. He came to the Prophet, and he said to him, Yesterday, I, I met a woman, and I did with her everything the man he do, except intercourse the prophet said maybe her husband is uh, <laughs> is doing jihad muhammad said not me maybe her husband is doing jihad the man he just admitted and muhammad he did not even rebuke the man saying to him shame on you he said to him don't worry this is you know this is nothing this is lemon you know in Islam, there is two kinds of sin. There is big sin. In Arabic, they call it fawahish. And there is something they call it lemam. Lemam. What is lemam? If I tell you what lemam is, you will not believe it. Lemam in Islam, if you bring a woman, she is married, the same as Nabhanu Tammar. Actually, you know what? Let us go and see the interpretation for this verse. Chapter 53, verse number 32. This is Tafsir Al-Qurtubi, be my witness. Al-Qurtubi interpretation written in the year 671. In the first verse, فلما دخلت راودها فأبت وإن صرفت فندم نبهان فأتى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال يا رسول الله ما من شيء يصنعه الرجل إلا وقد فعلته إلا الجماع فقال لعل زوجها غاز Translation This verse came down in a man his name is نبهان التمار and he have a store where he sell palm tree, palm tree fruits, which means date. A woman, she came to him and he said to her, get inside, get inside. We have a lot better inside. So she got in. And when she got in, he tried to do intercourse with her, but she refused and she left. But that does not mean he did not do everything. Hold on. He did everything except intercourse. And then he came to the Prophet and he was sorry for what he did. And he said to the Messenger of Allah, O oh, Messenger of Allah, nothing a man can do with the women I did not do except intercourse. The Prophet said, <laughs> maybe her husband is going to do jihad. So Allah, he sent down this ayah. And what this ayah is saying? Allah forgive all sin except al-fawahish, which means this is lemam. The Rasulullah, he says to him, this is lemam. Don't worry, be happy, this is lemam. And look what he said. What is al-lemam? Al-lemam is anything except being intercourse, like kissing, 
mm, punching like that. You know, let's say you see a woman, you you grab her bum, mm, look, or even laying down with her. Even if you lay down, as long you don't have to intercourse, which means you are naked, she is naked. You are playing with her private part. She is playing with your private part. You are kissing, you are touching. It doesn't matter. This is all is called lemam. This is not adultery in Islam. And there's no punishment for it. And not only that, Muhammad, uh, he said that adultery human being he does, it is not a choice. Allah, he is the one who decide that you should be an adulteress. Read the hadith with me. This is Sahih Muslim. Muhammad said, Verily, verily, Allah has fixed the very partition of adultery which a man will in, in, in luge. Am, am I saying it correctly? Excuse my French. And, and which he of necessity must commit. You see necessity? So Islam have an understanding that it is a necessity written to you in your faith by Allah. 